Okay guys, today we're going to be skinning this weasel here. Uh, we just got this guy, I don't know, probably three hours ago. We got him in the wood room and uh, got him on thawn. And um, all you need is a nice sharp knife and your weasel. You basically skin these just like any other animal. They're just smaller. Sometimes, it, sometimes people skin them from the face down, I think. That's just a waste of time. Once you get going on these little guys, they go pretty quick. Especially if they're just trapped. Okay, so we got all our cuts around the legs. Next cut is going to be down the back leg here, right down here. Just like so. Do that on both legs. Okay. So these guys have little glands in them that uh, they smell like skunk if you nick them. And you don't want to nick them. So they're right between the legs right here, right here, and right here. They stink and they're just nasty. Like I said, it takes a while for to get these guys going, but once they start to go, they go quick. work around these legs here Around his tail, around his back end here, and I usually just I usually just start a little cut on the tail, so it's a little easier to pull the tail off. Just like so. You don't need any of those tail strippers or anything for these weasels. Okay, got around him. Just like so. From here on out, should be going pretty quick. Take your time around the face because it does get a little bit sketchy in here. With some practice, you can fly through these guys. They're fun to trap, 
and uh, I love to trap them. They're pretty, pretty cool animals. It's not a challenge really to trap them, but if you have them in your area, you're gonna catch them. If you, we use uh, baited weasel boxes with um, rat traps in them and muskrat meat, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, we got the weasel back in the house here. Uh, we got a weasel stretcher here. And um, all you're going to do is slide this guy right on here. You don't have to make sure everything's on there even just yet. Okay, got a knife here. Uh, we're just going to trim these down a little bit. Now you can start evening everything up. Make sure the ears are centered with the board like so. And make sure your leg holes aren't cockeyed or off on one side from the other and uh, this is the point where I tack it Like so, and then I make my window. them are even and where you want them, go ahead and leave them. Trim off the tail here. Split the tail. Tail centered. Kind of screwed up on this side here. You can see it's a little cut off there. But we're going to be tanning this one, so it ain't going to matter too much. Don't overstretch these because they will tear and they're easy to tear. They're a little bit tougher than a rabbit. A rabbit are really easy to tear.
fix my mistake here. Boom, down weasel.